A three-year-old child has extensive vesicles on lip, tongue, oral mucous membrane. After two to four days, the vesicles ruptured, followed by a pseudo membrane formation, and also some dermal lesions are seen. What will be the diagnosis? And the options are herpetic stomatitis, EM that is erythema multiforme, ANUG anag that is acute necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis, and lastly Steven Johnson syndrome. Now, uh, it is normal to have a first instinct to choose ANUG because there is pseudo membrane formation. But if you look at the clinical scenario here, the age group and dermal lesions don't match with that of ANUG. It could be herpetic stomatitis too because of the vesicular formation. But you see that it is more extensive vesicles here and there is a pseudo membrane formation which is not seen in herpetic lesions. Okay, so these two are eliminated. Coming to erythema multiform and Steven Johnson syndrome. Now both of them are interrelated. A more severe form of erythema multiform is known as Steven Johnson syndrome where both of them have ulcerative conditions. So first there is vesicle formation and then there is ulceration and crusting. Now, Steven Johnson syndrome leads, leads to a lot of morbidity and is a very difficult condition to manage associated with pulse eye kind of lesions or target eye lesions also seen in erythema multiform but more predominant and more uh, accentuated in Steven Johnson syndrome. Other than that, the more important part is Steven Johnson syndrome has lesions of the eye of the genital area and mouth unlike erythema multiform so erythema multiform is more however related to second to fourth decades of life and more commonly seen in that age group and males but uh, it can present in other age groups also it does not specifically occur only in that age it can occur in younger individuals so three year old is okay extensive vesicle formation is okay Intraoral and dermal lesions are okay. Vesicle ruptured is okay, and pseudomembrane is formation. Pseudomembrane formation. So all of these symptoms are suggestive of erythema multiforme.